statements. Uh, the member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. Thank you, Speaker. The peace and tranquility of the Madawaska Valley was shattered yesterday with the news of a fatal shooting. I was attending the international plowing match in Finch when I was first informed. As the news developed, it got much worse. In the end, it turned out that three innocent women were the victims of a single male suspect who was later apprehended by police. By now, everyone has heard the news or seen the news of reports. Pardon me. By now, everyone has heard or seen the news reports of how these tragic events unfolded. It is clear that the gunman knew his victims, knew their whereabouts, and methodically went about executing his plan to murder them. I knew one of the victims, Anastasia Cusick. She was a hard-working and well-respected real estate agent working in the area. On a number of occasions, I would have spoken to her while she was working on a transaction with my wife, Vicky, who was also an agent. The Madawaska Valley was in a state of shock as this is not the kind of thing we expect to hear about. But it illustrates to us, it illustrates to all of us that we are not immune to the evil and criminal acts that rural and that rural people tend to that, pardon me, that rural people tend to associate with larger communities. We are left with many questions as to why something like this could happen. How could someone do this? Some questions may never be answered, but as the investigation unfolds, some most certainly will be. I want to congratulate and thank the police for acting quickly, marshalling all the necessary resources, and apprehending the suspect as quickly as they did. This allowed a lot of worried people to sleep better last night. I also want to thank the staff and teachers in those schools that were in lockdown yesterday. They took care of our children during the emergency, and we're all grateful for that. Finally, I want to thank the people of the Valley for their cooperation and composure during this crisis. Excuse me. Most importantly, on behalf of my constituents, I want to extend my heartfelt sympathies to the family and friends of the victims. Anastasia Cusick, Natalie Warmerdam, and Carl Culleton, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you.